What is up guys, it's Nick with Mastering Purpose and I'm going over a tutorial today about using smart objects in Photoshop. I've used this time and time again to make nice looking images and you can replace the screen on whatever device you'd uh, like to use, whether it's a mock-up or a picture that you've actually taken. So let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop and we'll get started. Now that we're in, you're going to go up to File and Place Embedded. As far as the document layout, I've got 1920 by 1080 uh, on the canvas size and I've got a white background layer. But we're going to bring in a picture of a computer that has something on the screen already and place that. Before you hit enter, you can use Alt and Shift to make it bigger and fill that canvas size. Uh, hit enter and notice that we've got this on the screen but we've also got a nice laptop image. Uh, with the desk and everything so this would be good if you could put maybe your website or something on the screen itself and what you want to do now is bring up your pen tool and we're going to set some rulers that will go to the corners of the screen here and we're going to draw a shape in order to uh, match up those corners of the rulers so let's drop some down you want to go to the farthest corner and you don't have to be very precise. You can zoom in if you'd like to do this. I wanted to just keep the tutorial shorter. We're gonna bring one down, so farthest corner. So notice we've got one here, one here where those corners are meeting. These two don't really meet, but that's okay. Now you're gonna to want to draw a shape. Good thing about the rulers is they will automatically snap for the shape. And I use a green because it just helps to see exactly what the screen is kind of if you were using green screen for uh, video editing once you get that in you can take the rulers off and that's really strange whatever just happened there had a glitch in Photoshop so now that we've got this uh, rectangle here we're gonna rename it to screen that allow you to know what the layers for and you probably want to save your document maximize compatibility now we've got this screen here but it doesn't quite fit the laptop so what we want to do is convert this into a smart object and what that does if you're not familiar is it allows you to go into the object and put whatever you want the screen or the background or whatever you'd like to do and then when you come back it'll be in this shape but the good thing is the container stays uh, the same size as long as you convert it before you move so let's bring our rulers back up and we're going to resize the shape here to the MacBook that's behind it. So let's uh, open up our transform and you want to hold command and we're probably going to take the rulers off actually. Hold command and bring that down to the part of the screen that's the corner and it'll be helpful if you can zoom in and you want to get really close on there. I'm using a touchpad, so it's a little difficult for my zoom. Uh, hold command and bring it out to that corner. And then we're going to scroll down to each corner and try to get it pretty close to whatever you see on the screen because you don't want any of the overlap to be shown behind your image. So let's bring that in up a little bit and here you can hit enter and that will resize it. So we're going to zoom out and see what it looks like. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, you can make it look as precise as you'd like. And once you get that done, you're going to go into the screen by double clicking here on your smart object and it gives you this of the original image. So once we zoom out, you can see that this actually fills the entire uh, canvas of what's a dot PSB file which is actually for uh, a smart object now what I'm going to do is I've got a background I'm going to bring that in and my desktop pick this background here and place it onto the canvas and you want your whatever image or whatever you use here to be the same size as that green screen so I'm just going to quickly uh, resize this hit enter and then once you get that on there you're gonna use the save which will save your smart object and then bring it over into the computer so 
It's really that easy. Uh, remember that when you create a smart object, if you duplicate that smart object and you change it, it will change in multiple places on your Photoshop canvas. So for example, if you had the laptop here and a, uh, a cell phone or something on the side, like a tablet, and you had that same smart object, that same image would go to those. Of course, the dimensions would be different, but um, that's the uh, quick way to be able to use a smart object. And I'd like to dive into these a little bit further. So look forward to another tutorial in the future on how to use these to help you be more efficient and just to uh, get things knocked out when you're in Photoshop. See you guys.